perfume, nowadays this name is vastly popular throughout the world. Usually perfume means a pleasant smell. A fragrant liquid typically made from essential oils extracted from flowers and spices, used to impart a pleasant smell to one's body or clothes. Ancient texts and archaeological excavations show the use of perfumes in some of the earliest human civilizations. Modern perfumery began in the late 19th century with the commercial synthesis of aroma compounds such as vanillina or coumarin, which allowed for the composition of perfumes with smells previously unattainable solely from natural aromatics alone. History of Perfume Behind every innovation there are so many histories. Perfume has also so many histories. The word perfume derives from the Latin perfumer, meaning to smoke through. Perfumery, as the art of making perfumes, began in ancient Mesopotamia and Egypt, and was further refined by the Romans and Persians. Types of perfume. There are two types of perfume. Number 1 Designer. Number 2 Niche. In addition to these widely seen concentrations, companies have marketed a variety of perfumed products under the name of splashes, mists, veils, and other imprecise terms. Generally these products contain 3% or less aromatic compounds. What is niche? Niche devotees often argue that boutique perfumes offer the consumer the opportunity to reward oneself with a scent that is both uncommon and individual. Many might reason that niche equates to quality, in that greater attention to detail has been given to the construction of the perfume, and that components are of the highest caliber. Many prefer to pay top dollar for the privilege of not smelling like someone's ex-boyfriend, or brother or aunt. What is designer? The designer brands also have an edge. What they lack in terms of exclusivity, they make up for in price and mass appeal the consumer buying into the lifestyle that these designer brands represent. If you can't afford the boss, Cartier or Bulgari lifestyle. You might as well smell like you can. How to apply perfume. Perfume may be just the thing to finish off your outfit, even if it's a t-shirt and your favorite jeans. Applying perfume can liven up a date night, and help attract your desired partner. However, there are some misconceptions as to how to apply perfume, where to apply it, and what types of perfumes to buy. The difference between applying perfume correctly and incorrectly is dramatic, and can change the course of how your evening goes. Luckily, the steps to correctly apply perfume are easy and simple. Find your perfect perfume. Do not just wear something because it is a designer perfume. Make sure you absolutely love the perfume's top notes and bottom notes. Choose a daytime or nighttime fragrance. If you are simply going out on the town, going to work, or visiting the beach, try a daytime fragrance. If you are planning a date, or going out to dinner, you might try a nighttime fragrance instead. Take a shower or a bath. Your skin absorbs perfume better after it is nice and warm. Make sure when you take your shower or bath that the water is hot, so that your pores can open. Dry your skin off. After you take a warm shower or bath, make sure your skin is dry. If you do not, when you spray the perfume on it will not stick. Specifically, get the hard to reach places like the back of your knees, your neckline, and your hair. These are what are called pulse points, or places where your perfume goes on, and acts at its highest level. Hydrate your skin. If you did not apply moisturizer during your shower, definitely do this after you dry off. The perfume has a much better chance to lock onto your skin if it is smooth and soft, rather than dry and rough. Apply the perfume before you put your clothes on. Perfume sprayed directly onto clothes can cause water marks which look unseemly, particularly if you are going out to a nice dinner date. 
perfume also works much better on pulse points rather than clothes, because the molecules interact with direct contact with skin. Perfume is something that you can't see the fragrance but you can feel it. It gives you a pleasure which you can't measure with money. Perfume keeps your fresh.